Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It is the 19th of December, uh, so we're absolutely on the home run. And uh, as you can see, I have missed a few days, quite a few days of my advent calendar. I'm sorry about that. Um, it has, of course, been absolutely manic, even though um, none of us are going anywhere. Um, I've been working flat out at my desk uh, all week. I'm happy to say that work is more or less finished. There are a few little bits and pieces that can be spaced out, but more or less finished now until the new year. So um, I'd like to say finally it's time to relax. Certainly it's time to do um, some more enjoyable things, although there is a quite long list of things to do to do with Christmas wrapping cooking um, sorting out orders online that are now not going to be delivered at the right time I don't know this year is uh, really tough for all sorts of reasons but let's catch up a little bit uh, first of all well let's catch up first of all with my nails so I am wearing this one I've forgotten what it's called, but um, we opened that um, last week and uh, it's a real kind of classic red. Um, forgive the, it looks worse, doesn't it? Magnified in the viewfinder where I have um, overlapped the nail bed. And I have used actually um, a couple of hours ago to try and tidy up this nail polish remover corrector pen from Boots for the first time. Um, and you can see the problem is that once you've corrected the first nail, um, unless you immediately change and you've only got three spare tips, you're actually putting the um, remove nail varnish round the side of the next nail. So I'm not sure. I bought this for convenience. I'm not sure it's any more effective than my old um, routine, which would be to use a little cotton bud um, dipped in nail varnish remover to um, do the deed. I think that's actually uh, a much better idea because you can throw away each cotton bud after each nail if you need to. Um, so like a lot of these gimmicks, don't recommend this one, I'm afraid. Uh, right, let's see what we have missed in the last few days. And uh, let's get this Christmas tree out the way. I was trying to give you some something seasonal to look at while we open. Oh, pretty pink here. This is called Strawberry Margarita. Gosh, I'm going to say it. I could just fancy a strawberry margarita and it's only uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon, which is not very good. That is so pretty. What a pretty pink. Um, it's very summery. I'm not sure I'd put it on my nails at the moment, but it's a really pretty colour. I like strawberry margarita. Right, so strawberry margarita down for the 16th, Wednesday's effort. Wednesday, I had to pull an all-nighter to get something finished in time. This is um, a metallic red. Oh, I like that. That's beautiful. That is called Bogata Blackberry. Doesn't really look like blackberry to me. Now, I'll tell you what this is reminding me of. It's reminding me of um, my usual favourite Christmas nail varnish from Chanel, which is Malice, uh, which I always think of as kind of metallic slightly lighter, lighter rouge noir and uh, traditionally I do my Christmas manicure in it. It's quite a few years old now but this is very similar. I might get out Malice and show you um, the two. I was thinking about what colour I would have for Christmas and I was thinking I would actually go for a slightly lighter um, orangey red. Um, I've been quite influenced by the uh, promo pictures for the Chanel Holiday Connect collection where she's wearing the bright red lipstick with the gold eyeshadow and um, bright red nails and looks very, very chic. Um, but I'd be quite tempted by that one. 
So that's two good ones on the trot. Talkless Beach. Gosh, these titles are just grim, aren't they? Um, and in fact, that looks more like a kind of sludgy, light slate grey than taupe to me. Um, that might look quite pretty on the nails there. A um, bit different for the new year, maybe. 18th yesterday. Golly, yesterday is a long day. This is Aurora Berealis. Oh dear, who thinks of these? Um, that's looking a bit lighter and pinker in the viewfinder than in real life, where it looks um, quite a, a dull, mauvey pink. That's the sort of colour my mother would love. Uh, maybe that could go in her Christmas stocking. And then today is the 19th, Saturday. Yay! This is Snow Falling For You. It's a very pretty, girly, frosty pink, uh, sort of thing I loved as a teenager in the 70s. <laughs> um, very, very pearlized. I have an aunt who would um, love this. She was a girl in the 50s and uh, she's, still, she's still a girly girl of the 50s. Um, absolutely love that colour. Very, very pretty girly. So it's quite a nice selection. I particularly like that metallic red. Um, obviously, that's my kind of colour. And I do think that's a really, really pretty pink. Um, not so much for uh, the current season, but in the summer. So some more good ones there. So we've only got six more to go. That's up until Christmas Day. That's amazing. Um, we are getting very close. So I don't know. I'm, go I'm going away um to a family member on uh the 23rd um well i am at the moment if we don't get locked in our houses by boris and co because of this new mutant variant that's apparently rampaging around london um but i'm assuming um all will be sufficiently well for us to go and infect other parts of the country um so what i was saying was i'm not sure whether i'm going to take this with me to open while I'm away. Perhaps I will, because it's it's quite lightweight. We'll see. Um, anything else I wanted to say? Yes, uh, this morning and yesterday, I was experimenting with my Tom Ford Noir Fumé that we looked at the other day. And um, I must say, I'm actually quite impressed. They're not the most... Um, stunning of colours, uh, but they do translate well to my eye and they wore well. Um, I'd done a look primarily uh, with this colour here um, on the mobile lid and adding a bit of definition with this um, and then just transi transitioning a little bit above because of my hooded eye to give a bit of definition and then tidying up under the brow bone with this colour, which I realised reminds me of an old Bobby Brown colour called Bone, um, which used to use just to give a kind of base colour to the eye. And I've actually been using the um, little Tom Ford brushes, that um, one with the sharpened tip, um, to use this colour as a liner rather than a pencil. And, um, yeah, make quite a nice, uh, not really smoky eye, but quite a bit of definition, um, dark but quite businesslike eye. Um, look how the palette's already looking, a complete fingerprint mess. And I have been using for that a, well, it's not that new, a brush. I can't remember when I got it, sometime earlier this year. It's a Chanel eye brush and they actually have on them what they are it's the eyeshadow blender which for some reason I bought I don't have a lot of expensive makeup brushes I have got a couple of the Tom Ford blending brushes because I do like those and I've got a Tom Ford um, bronzer brush as well which I use less often but mostly I've just got MAC or Real Techniques and Real Techniques you can just buy in boots and they're okay I mean they don't last forever when you have to wash them a lot 
and I don't know how this will last, but I have to say uh, it is a dream to work with in blending, um, you know, an appreciably easier job with this than with the real technique. I don't know what it is, just the kind of perfect level of fluffiness, but with a kind of tapered tip um, for both kind of bit of precision pushing on and then um, blunted off to to blend out um, really nice brush. So I'm enjoying using that. Right, um, I'm sure I will see you tomorrow because the work pressure has been somewhat removed and we can um, open the next door together on time. Until then, enjoy your Saturday. Bye for now.